Hi, I'm here today in Austin, Texas with Ben Brown, um, internet rock star. He is going to be delivering a panel at this year's South by Southwest Interactive entitled, What Do I Do With Myself Now That The Economy Has Collapsed? Which I'm definitely excited to see and um, see if I can pick up some nuggets of wisdom out of that. So just to get us started, just kind of give me a little bit of, about your background, like education, and things like that. Um, I went to uh, University of Maryland in the late oh, wow. 90s. And uh, where I thought I was going to do computer science, but ended up doing uh, creative writing. Um, cool. And uh, shortly before I graduated, I dropped out to work at my first internet startup, which um, IPO'd like six months later. So I came out right in the right time at the uh, at the height of the bubble, the first internet bubble, uh, and moved down here to Austin to uh, start a company. Actually, that. Uh, some friends of mine had an idea and we were like, time is right, let's go down to Austin and start a company. And six months later, the bust hit and we were all out of jobs uh, with no money. I had spent all of my uh, IPO money. Is this a new venture that XOXCO? Mm -hmm. XOXCO. XOXCO. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I, we've essentially been in business for about a year now, although we're just sort of really getting the actual business business stuff together. Um, like incorporation and all of that, um, it's exciting to um, start a new thing like that. But anyways, uh, um, my wife Katie and I actually are starting XOXCO. It's a clickable research and development company, which means that we're building stuff all the time for ourselves and for other people. But um, we're trying to we're really trying to experiment with what we're doing, and we're just going to post it all online so people can see it. So some, I mean, the first thing I posted was this really kind of silly video game that I made in a couple of weekends and it's not for money or for a client or for anything like that it was just like a weird idea I had and we're gonna do it and put it out there what kind of skills and um, tools do you guys use in terms of like PHP or Python or like flash what it, what mm -hmm. is kind of what do you use uh, we do uh, a lot of PHP and flash and JavaScript and a lot of server-side stuff too that um, is not as uh, buzz buzzword friendly, but I guess can you kind of tell me? Do you know any of the people you're presenting with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. I, I've known um, most of them for guess, a long time. Can you give me kind of a little preview of Have you guys kind of gotten together and discussed what you're mm -hmm. going to tackle? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, Andy Bio and I um, both have similar experiences in that we uh, during the last um, you know dot com bust, we both worked on personal projects that um, ended up. When the when the economy started looking better, um, getting acquired. So both of them were things that we just did for fun, and we just thought it was a clever idea. And then all of a sudden, somebody's on the phone saying, "You know, we'll give you you know a bazillion dollars for your this thing that you hacked out, when nobody else would pay you." Um, so I think we'll we'll be talking mostly about that. And then I I think we we are both also now doing sort of interesting different things. Um, Andy is like sort of quasi journalist. Um, and he just had his first sort of uh, investigative journalist piece picked up by the New York Times from his blog. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And it was about you know like Chinese people who translate The Economist magazine every week, like totally weird, crazy you know subject. But um, and uh, Lane Becker is uh, the moderator who's actually a business, an ex business partner of mine uh, from the last crash, and uh, he. Um, he he runs a customer service company. He brings the idea and the moderation skills. Uh, Michael Sippy um, is a is a really talented guy. Uh, he's an executive at Six Apart, which is like movable type and and whatnot. But he's just been around forever and uh, has done you know has been through the business cycles a bunch of times. So he's he's sort of our I think like our our old man you know with the knowledge. Um, and then um, Jane Mount. Is an artist and does runs an art gallery online, but I don't really know all that much about her background. But it should be interesting. I mean, we're we're trying to talk about practical advice that people can use in times like this. Right now is an opportunity for people to um, explore things that are not necessarily going to turn into you know million dollar ideas. It's an opportunity, a time for people to find things that they really are interested in and want to work on without the um, promise of money or even the you know regular reward of a paycheck like if you if you can find something that you really like to work on 
even when nobody's making you work on it, then uh, you know you've you've got something pretty good.